Morning indeed, why let's begin our day as always, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'd like to read today's Gospel reading, Friday, January 14th. When Jesus returned to Capernaum, after some days it became known that he was at home. Many gathered together so that there was no longer room for them, not even around the door. So he's at home, people gathered, there's not even room around the door. He preached a word to them. Then they came bringing him a paralytic, so somebody who was paralyzed, carried by four men. Unable to get near Jesus, right, because there's this crowd, they opened up the roof above him. After they had broken through, they let down the mat in which the paralytic was lying. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to them, Child, your sins are forgiven. What stands out for you from that story? What about the perseverance of these guys? There's a big crowd. We can't get to Jesus. I know. Let's go up on our roof and break through the roof. Man, that's making an effort. Are you there like that for your friends? There's a question. You know, it's about really going out of your way. Make that phone call. Reach out. Whatever it might be, do what it takes. Be there. Let's be there for one another. Let us pray. That we may serve others graciously, even when we are tired and weary. We pray, Lord, graciously hear us. That our faith may inspire us to acts of courage. We pray, Lord, graciously hear us. That our sins may be forgiven, like the paralytic. We pray, Lord, graciously hear us. O loving God, your boundless mercy forgives all sins. Grant us the courage and perseverance to approach you with open hearts. And may Almighty God bless us in every way in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. St. Margaret Deville, pray for us. Have a great day, everybody. God bless.